up, and there we go. So the best part of this was that this was all really, really fast for us to get up and running in the tech uh, on the server, but it didn't take the whole team to do this very long, right? Yeah, this was just really a, t a technical artist and an engineer seeing how much they could do and trying to create this kind of quantity and to see what that feels like and to prove that it would work. Right. So this was just step one, and we'll show you the other two steps as we go forward. But let's talk about how we got it running uh, on the server. Yeah, so um, here, th these are the steps that we followed in developing our demo. And the first step was to build prototypes. And we, we showed you uh, what it looked like to do a rendering prototype. But we, we actually had three tiny teams, each working independently. The, the first team built the rendering prototype. The second team um, explored what we could do with behaviors. So lots of AIs moving around a battlefield and simulating. And the third prototype was just how would you aim a catapult with touch and fire at a bunch of targets. So we developed those prototypes using all of our standard tools on PCs just on our desktops. And in the second step, we wanted to see how would that run in the cloud. Because um, AppStream was new for us as well, as well, and we thought, what is this new platform? And we used a G2 extra large instance, and we took all of our prototypes there and ran them, and they ran just beautifully. And at that point, we knew that the technology was going to work to build this demo. Um, so we proceeded to the third step, which was to integrate AppStream and the AppStream SDK with our game engine so that as it renders, it would stream out the video. Um, and that was actually quite easy to do. And in fact, while one of it, our engineers was waiting for these first two prototypes to finish, he actually completed that and surprised us that the game engine was already rendering a spinning cube. And then we were able to take those prototypes, which also ran on that same game engine, and just drop them in, and they worked, and our game was streaming. Um, so at that point, we had this demo that was working. And we wanted to take it a little bit farther. So we had kind of a, some toy demos. We wanted to make them prettier. And we also wanted to see what we could do with the idea of hybrid rendering. So blending some computation in the cloud with some computation taking place on the tablet. <coughs> so we wanted to take the demo further and show what would happen when we did that. And we'll, we'll talk more about that later. Um, and you can follow these same four steps um, with your teams and get, get up and running very quickly on App Street. The fifth step, which will be required to ship your game, which we didn't have to do for our demo, um, is to build an entitlement service which describes who is allowed to play your game. It says who can, um, who is authorized to perform this streaming. And it, it gave, gives your game the ability to scale out. So with that, you also provide an installer that gets to deployed to AppStream. And then as more players play, AppStream automatically can create more instances for them. So uh, five steps to get up and running on AppStream. I mean, It's not identical to that, but it's similar. Yeah, yeah. The, the pink background you see here is a miss, missing texture, which is the texture that will be streamed from the cloud of the battlefield. Um, so that's where the battlefield will go, and then we're rendering on top of that. Right. So let's show you how we got to the hybrid client and the steps that we took to get that integrated as well. Yeah, so after you've built your server, you're ready to now build a client that connects to the server. Um, again, there's an example client SDK sample that you should start with. Um, it performs initialization and cleanup. It receives frames coming from the server, loads them into textures, which then can be drawn on the whole screen or part of the screen. And then it sends input or custom messages of your choice back up to the server. <laughs>